Um, this is um, uh, stoic training, and it can take uh, can take different forms. And the things I'm going to describe now to many people just seem like craziness, you know, crazy behavior. <laughs> Most people, uh, what should your goal be? I should be perfectly comfortable uh, all day long, and I should uh, never do anything where there's a chance of failing because what if I fail? I'm going to be miserable if I fail. So, uh so uh, Stoics say, no, 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 you should be doing just the opposite. You should be doing things that are going to cause you to experience discomfort and discomfort in unexpected ways. So uh, one of the things you can do is uh, you can stay home in your nice cozy bed or you can go on a camping trip. And if you go on a camping trip, all sorts of setbacks can happen. It can start raining. It can be too hot. You can realize that you've forgotten a flashlight. You know, you, you have all of these things that can happen. So what's the point of that? Well, you keep strong your ability to respond successfully to setbacks. And uh, what's the advantage of that? Uh, well, that means when life presents you with a setback, you're ready for it. It's the difference between the athlete who never trained and the athlete who trained, um, who trained extensively. Uh, uh, other things you can do is you can do things that are difficult just because they're difficult. So let's put this uh, also in the uh, frame of mind of a, of a student, um, so, in life, there's two kinds of people. There's uh, the people who fail a lot, and there's the people who never fail. And then if you look at those people and you look at who's successful in the long run, in some sense of the word success, it's the people who fail a lot. The people who never fail never become big successes because they never try anything that's difficult to do. The people who fail, a fail because they're trying to do something that's hard to do. And it's just a consequence. Now, the interesting thing about them, and this is the stoic approach to failure, is they bounce. When they fail, they bounce back and they learn from the failure and they go on to make new, better failures <laughs> that if, if they're lucky, and there's an element of luck in it, but if they're lucky, it will ultimately result in, uh, in their succeeding in, um, in life. It's... Um, it's a curious thing, you know, but you should, if you never fail at anything, you should think, rethink your life because you're playing it safe. Uh, and if you want to accomplish big things, you have to take risks. And if you take risks, you're going to experience failure. And then the question is, what do you do when you fail? Do you break like an egg or do you bounce? And let me throw in one more thing and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you some more uh, time here talking. So, um, uh, so suppose you have some big project that you're about to embark on. Uh, and you know that because you're doing something really hard, there's going to be a continual inflow of setbacks. You're going to be repeatedly set, uh, set back. So one thing you can do is you can go in the first setback. You can say, well, this is too hard. I quit. Or you go into the whole thing. You frame it as a high hurdle race, you know, in track. We, we have the hurdles. And so um, you go into it knowing there are going to be these hurdles. And then what do you do? Your job is to clear each hurdle as it comes along. And then there'll be another one. You clear that hurdle too. And what do you do? Finally, after 10 or 12 or however many it is they, they have, I wasn't a hurdler uh, back in the day, um, then you've completed the race. But you, you don't think of the hurdle in personal terms. You don't think, somebody put this obstacle here just to screw me up. You, instead, you, you plan on it being there. And when it's there, you take care of it and you move on to the next hurdle. 